Excellent. Let's look at some example questions of evaluating functions. Yeah? So this is part two. Now let's say we have the function of where x is the variable and that is, let's say, minus 3x plus 7. And now we have to evaluate the function f minus 4 equals. And evaluating a function is nothing more than substituting this particular value for x in your function. So minus 3 times x becomes minus 3 times minus 4 plus 7. Now minus 3 times minus 4, that is a positive 12 plus 7, and 12 plus 7 equals 19. Okay, so the answer is 19. I have evaluated my function minus 3x plus 7 for x equals minus 4. Now, if in the same question you get a different function, they usually will give it a different letter than f, yeah, just to, to distinguish between the two different functions. So let's say in the same question you get, okay, and now evaluate the function h, x for instance. Usually they'll use an h or a g or an i, yeah, somewhere in that part of the alphabet. Let's say um, x squared plus five, and we have to evaluate that for x equals two. Yeah, so it becomes 2 squared, and I'm substituting 2 into my function. 2 squared plus 5, I will just continue here. Huh? So that is 4 plus 5, that would equal 9. Okay, so to, to distinguish between two different functions, they will usually start with fx, and then they will continue to hx, or gx, or ix, and then anyway, in that part of the alphabet. It all means the same. It's the function where x is the variable, x squared plus 5, okay? Now, perhaps if I can just say one more thing, yeah, perhaps if you have a really funny teacher, he's going to say something like uh, h a equals 5a squared minus 3a, uh, which means the function where a is the variable, 5a squared minus 3a, and as you can see, a is the variable, yeah? so if I had to evaluate that, for instance, for a is 2, yeah, it would be 5 times 2 squared minus 3 times 2, yeah? I am substituting 2 into my function, please, bot mass or bit mass, yeah? you do the powers first, 4 minus 6, so that will be 20 minus 6, so my answer is 14, yeah? So please always have a look what is the variable. Usually, 99% of the times, the variable will be x, yeah? But perhaps uh, to make sure if you really understand your teacher is going to change the variable into a. It's nothing to be scared of. The variable is a, so let's substitute now 2 for a in your function, all right? Let's go to the next part for a little bit harder example questions.